Alrighty, let's go with this. I'm just gonna wait for some people to jump on here. Oh, they got weird ass lighting in here too. I was gonna do it the other way around. But this is cool. Like I say, I'm just gonna wait for people to jump on. If you're watching the recording, you know the drill. Say hi when you jump on, guys. Say hi. Cool little hotel room here in Lima, in Peru. Probably, probably the last time I'm gonna get Wi-Fi. I don't know. I don't know much more than that I fly out tomorrow. Um, I can't even remember the name of the place. Otapatu or something. I've gotta keep looking at that. <laughs> but I go there tomorrow and then two weeks in the jungle. How are you, Flora? Everyone else who's on, say hi. Say hi. Definitely going to answer some questions here. I might go into depth about stuff you probably haven't heard of before. You might have. You might have heard bad stories, good stories, whatever. Um, but yeah, make it highly interactive, guys. Definitely, definitely. Like I say, I'm here in Peru tonight, Lima, um, which I found is pretty cool. Um, started great. Got out of the um, airport, got a taxi driver, and um, went to walk into the driver's side of the car because it's on the opposite side. Oh, uh, well, you get that. I have to walk around saying English, English everywhere because all I know is gracias. <laughs> but that's pretty funny too. Um, but that was just the start of it. But come here and the energy is great here. It, it really is great. It's um, something different again and something with the whole travel and all that. But more importantly, this is this is a personal journey but in aid for bigger things it is julie awesome that you're on anyone else is jumping on throw your questions my way for sure i'm open to questions but why did i come to this decision to come here and it wasn't something that i sat on i'll be honest it was something i just said yes and committed what am i doing here cam what am i doing here i come to get a tan <laughs> i come to get a tan i'm going to go into detail in a minute bro definitely going to go into detail but I've had to make a lot of things happen here and a lot of things haven't gone right. But what led me to do this was I started asking questions. I started asking questions like of myself, of my own journey, of what, I'm, what am I here for last year. I started the year before, um, done some amazing work last year, retreats in Bali, working with amazing people there, opened my eyes to a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff about the world, about myself, because there's a big part about it, but more importantly, how I could maybe serve others because I with me personal growth was never a thing like up until a couple of years ago until I started asking questions of what am I here for what's it all about what is life about what is, what am I what am I living for what do I and then contribution has always been something for me but I didn't understand the power of it and then grasping it and it is one of my number one values so to combine that asking questions that's why I started this epic journey of personal growth some great mentors along the way, some amazing people. But when this come up, I'll be honest, I was at a point where I was like questioning everything again, like deeper questions. Why, why did I go on this journey? Why, what am I here for? What is all this stuff? I've got all these unanswered questions. Do these people in my environment serve me? And I made some choices to move away from it. And some choices that I've got to get some closure on too because there's some decisions that I made that affected some people and they, they're called at the effect still. Um, but I can't help that. But it has affected me a bit. But big reason I came to Peru is it's definitely something different. It's definitely something that I don't know if you guys know a lot about. And I'm just going to run through just a basic structure of what we're doing. Of course, there's going to be mindset work. There's going to be vision. There's going to be purpose. There's going to be all of that. But getting to work with some ancient medicine... Lewis, man, hombre, is that is that a local word, bro? <laughs> it's um, I know hola, I think, or hola and gracias. That's all. You've been a local brother. Whereabouts in the world are you now, man? I appreciate your input coming over there. That helped heaps too, man. Really did. It's cool having a a, a world family, um, even though it's in a business, which is pff, even better. But um, appreciate that massive gratitude. But yeah, like I say, it's. Working with the ancient medicine, it's stuff that I haven't really looked into. I've had friends who have done it, friends who have spoken about it. And it's something I looked at and I'm like, wow, that's so different. 
Um, with everything, as people are throwing up stuff, it's like, mm, whatever, that's dangerous, or people die of all that, and I'm like, whatever. Um, I'm very, very open-minded. Um, like I say, I've had to make a lot of things happen to get here and seriously put things off, change the way I work things, especially financially, but making it happen. Because when you make a decision and commit, you won't stop until you go through with it. And like I say, I've had to spread things out. I've had to spread things out everywhere. I had to sell my boat. I had to buddy sell my house earlier in the year, not just to get here, but to pay off everything else. And like I say, we all get stuck financially with things, but when one of your values too is travel, and when you're so passionate about doing that and help others do that, you're gonna interlink it. And it just so happens that this came up. And people say you get called to things. People say you get, you just get signs and all this. And I've gotta be honest, my signs were challenges. My signs have been challenges to come here. Amy Marie, awesome that you're on. Challenges in the face of parting ways last year with Beast Mode and behind the scenes stuff going on. And it really did challenge me on a personal level. I was questioning my own decisions and I was questioning my own, well, I had a lack of self-belief again and I started like, yeah, not feeling it. I'm like, what am I doing here? No matter what I was showing up as, is one thing I did. And when this come up and the chance to work with Sacred Medicine, work with Regan Hillier I'm great friends with, after having some challenges herself later last year and changing things up, with her partner Juan Pablo, who I can't wait to meet, interlinking all the work they do, working with shamans, doing the mindset, but locking it all in, locking it all in on a deeper level, that's huge. But more importantly, all this stuff, all this stuff that I've been curious about, like, Everything locked into like your organs and releasing it from that. Like my last six weeks, I've been crook. It's been really, really interesting. I had some great feedback from friends around me. I'm not going to share that till after the this retreat. Um, but I've been crook as, and it led me to ask more questions. I like about healing, about healing on a deeper level. Stuff from when I was young. Like I've had some great people around me. Like I say, and I keep mentioning that. But it always keeps keeps happening this and I'm like this is just the key I'm like all right there's something calling me massively to come here it's just been there I'm like I've got to do it even up until last week I'm thinking I don't know if I can go more challenges more challenges more challenges usually when things get hard people drop off usually when things get hard I'm like no I've, I've stepped up in a few areas I've, I've told people how it is like people have stuffed me around people have been dishonest and I'm like usually I would like ease up, I know, and I've just told it how it is from my position. And it's something I haven't done for a while. It's something that I used to do and be very good at. I used to own my truth, if what, but I've let other people get to me. I have, I've let them get in, I've been at the effect of their, of their bullshit. And me coming over here, I'm like, this is an, an amazing opportunity. Yeah, I've stretched a lot of things. Yeah, I've had to change a lot of things. Yeah, I've no phone service, no internet for a couple of weeks, all this sort of stuff in the online world. It's crazy, but this is just too exciting. In the jungle, in Peru, I think we've got like a 12 hour boat ride tomorrow. But to really block out the outside world, even though I love you guys a lot, and just focus on all this, whatever comes up, I don't know. I really don't know. But all I know is coming out of this, all these challenges I've faced, I'm gonna get clarity on them. These questions I've been asking, like asking of the universe, asking about like Peru of all places, you guys that are on here and know me, I love my alien stuff. I love my ancient civilization stuff. But I've got questions around that. I've got questions around how we've been conditioned in this world to see things how we have and think how we do. It's such a deeper level that I, I need answers from myself. Now, I'm not looking for external answers. This is all within. This is the thing. I just need to find it. I need to get rid of all this fog that's around me, all the bullshit from people around me um, that I, I allow in. And I'll get to your message in a minute, Amy. It's cool. Um, but this here, it's just so much in it. It takes what I, my personal growth, which I'm so passionate about to another level, but it's all in aid of creating something, but locking it in. Locking it in because I've created certain things along the way and I've gone duh, 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 and stopped and nah, faded away there and faced a challenge here. But this is all about locking it in. Like really locking it in. Like getting rid of all these fears or just facing them and like seeing them nothing and locking in this purpose that I have. 
this vision that I keep having. Which, like I say, after this goes down, I'm going to come back. I've been doing a video blog. I've been um, taking a few notes here and there. Just because I'm going to just show my change. Because I know last year when I went through the retreats that it changed my, my physical appearance, my energy, my direction, everything. But this is, again, this is another fork in the road where I've decided straight up, just, just go for it. Everything else is going to happen if you do the right things. Hello for everyone who's jumping on too. I'm just going to get to Amy. This trip will be truly amazing. Couldn't be happier. Thank you, Amy. This is such a wonderful journey on every moment. Absolutely. It's all part of it. But as you would know, Amy, it's all about giving back too. This is all about giving back. Now, I'm not just going to come over and say, hey, I'm going on this personal journey. I'm going to go bloody do the ayahuasca, the ancient medicine, all that. I'm just going to have a tripped out time. Like that. Nah, that is not even a, a, not even a part of this. It's all about being able to contribute back in some way because all these times where I've gone and I've, I've, I've gained momentum but I've stopped, I've been challenged, I've got to drop that and I've got to get to the, the bottom of that. And it's all about stepping into my power but doing consistently. But on this trip, it's about locking that in. It's about locking that in. And you're going to get to see so much of it coming out of it. Like I say, I've already got plans but plans are nothing, they're just ideas unless I put them into place. So that's a massive part of it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like I say, a flight out of here in the morning. It's late here now, but my body clock's out of whack. That's why I thought I'd do a live feed, make the most of it. Working with amazing people, which is which is one thing, as you would know, environment's everything, guys. It is absolutely critical, your environment, especially when you're challenged to have them people around you. Like the last couple of weeks, I had amazing people around me. I've been... I've been stepping up a lot more with my energy and everything like that but leading into this I have <laughs> I have struggled but I've got here and I'm super super excited and super grateful to everyone who's helped me along the way um, shout out back home for my mom and family and and Tanya who's not missing me she's got a little automatic car driving around having a ball of course without me there no I just say that but like I say, everyone else who's sent me messages and everything, I, I haven't got to them all because I've been in and out of service. I appreciate it. Any questions, hit me up. Um, I've got phone service up until tomorrow sometime. Hit me up. Any questions. Um, yeah, that's about all. Like I say, super excited. Watch this space for what's going to be released straight after it. Already got the um, Harmonious Balance eight-week course uh, with Tanya. If you haven't checked that out, please message her. Absolutely. Message me tonight or tomorrow, it's daytime over there. Message me, see what that's all about. It comes off the back of our three and a half hour workshop we've done, um, behind the scenes of Harmony this Balance. We had a heap of people jump into that, which is amazing. Um, with some, <laughs> some great breakthroughs, it really, really gave us a spark doing something together. And I know that's something more that's going to come out after I finish here in Peru. Um, we've already designed, created the um, course, the training. Like I say, it's eight weeks. If you wanna know more about that, Hit me an inbox, um, comment below, or um, send send one to Tanya, um, and we'll be happy to get you guys on your way because that's going to jump straight out of Peru. I'm coming back, and we're going to hook straight into that. Sorry, a few people committed to that, which is cool. Plus, there's going to be other stuff. I've stepped away from the one-on-one. -on -one. I've been working closely uh, with my team, um, as a few of you are on here know. I'm doing the best I can, but this is all in aid of doing better, I'm leading better. But there's going to be some one-on-one -on -one stuff coming out of this for sure. Um, I just see a couple of names jumped on who I have been um, partnering with, working with, with some cool stuff. Um, but that's going to come out of this as well. So a lot of rambling tonight, guys. Um, not coming on to teach anything or add value. Just telling you where I'm at. Dave, how are you, brother? You in Sydney, are you, man? Or you're on your way? Um, just about to wind up. Someone who's getting awesome results, Dave. It's good to see, man. It's, it is. It's what it's all about for me. It's where that fulfillment thing comes in. When people apply what you teach them, it's awesome. Anyway, that's about all, guys. Any questions, hit me up in the comments. Um, cool little hotel tonight. I, I did share it on Insta and Snapchat, and I've been on the gym in the video leading into this. Check it out. Gym was wicked, but this place has got like a, a spa in the corner. But the thing is, it was like last minute because they changed my flight, so last minute concierge rang up and like 60 bucks US this joint, not even 20 minutes from the airport. When you're traveling to new country, all wrapped, I got that, so that, that made me more comfortable tonight. 
Oh, no way, though. Flight got cancelled. Well, you know what, man? If you had to use the, um, what we spoke about, you would have been already on a flight. Them the breaks. That's the universe. Anyway, guys, thank you. Watch your space. If I got Wi-Fi, definitely watch it. See you later.